Yo, 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 what's good? It's Chairman House of Barf. How's everyone feeling? I hope great. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, my weekend was pretty good. It was decent. Still dealing with a whole lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just some dumb shit always going on. But doing pretty well. Um, something really exciting happened. Uh, I got 500 spins. Uh, so actually I got an email from Spotify saying congratulations on getting 500 spins and let's start working on the next 500. I was like, oh, cool, dope. And actually over the weekend, I got about four, uh, more spins, uh, where a listener listened for at least, I think 60 seconds. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next 500. I got to make sure I keep my, myself, you know, keep myself clean. Uh, keep, keep, you know, out of trouble and whatnot, keep staying focused, because, you know, they say devil's hands, uh, idle hands, uh, devil's playground, so, you know, and that shit's real, that shit, you can sit down for a little while and stew on some shit, so, uh, really don't know what's going on in the market right now, um, I know there's some great news with, uh, I believe it's NVIDIA, uh, doing earnings, uh, let me see, I think Zoom, let me see, Zoom's earnings, um, let me see. I'm looking at Zoom's uh, quarter three earnings, 5 p.m. today. So they're going to report after market. Um, let's see if there's like a excuse me. Uh, there's like an earnings whisper. Like, well, right now it's up approximately 1.8 percent on the day. Um, I'm a little distraught, you know what I'm saying, after some stuff that's going on the weekend, um, you know, and then you got, got these several legal issues that just keep coming, uh, people are trying to fight me, and uh, for a little bit, um, you know, I've kind of just been kind of like, you know, just sitting there, uh, but st can't really touch on it, still got some ongoing issues, um, so yeah, but uh so, in the meanwhile, um, I'm not sure if I'll have eligibility. I doubt I will. But on plays like Zoom, on plays like Zoom, uh, I think short puts. I'm not giving advice. This is not advice, financial advice, nothing. I think short puts would be nice. Uh, now, I'm sure that there could be, and don't quote me on all this. I'm still just learning all this stuff. Uh, I don't have my laptop in front of me to kind of pull up, see what's going on. I do need to make a couple phone calls, um, but let me see, um, let's just see what's going on in the market, I'm just going to go to cnbc.com, so it looks like it's, it's up on the day, uh, nothing too crazy, uh, Dow Jones is up approximately 0.25%, S&P 500 is up approximately 0.3%, uh, and NASDAQ is up approximately 0.6%. Now that information uh, may have came out, uh, I'm not sure, about um, the Fed and what they're going to get ready to do. I'm not sure when the next um, Fed meeting is. Let me see. Uh, next Fed meeting. Alright. Uh, looks like the next Fed meeting. Um... Where are we at? October, November, uh, December. It looks like December 12th, maybe the next Fed meeting. Um, that's where I think they're already getting prepared that the Fed may not be raising interest rates. Uh, if not, we may even start uh, lowering them. So that's going to be real exciting for the economy. I mean, I mean, just imagine house sales at least. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people starting to put... Um, you know, money down on houses because I'm pretty sure the demand's there, but people are probably sitting around waiting to see what these interest rates do. Um, I don't really understand much about bonds yet. I'm like, with a bond, if I was to get a bond, I'm holding to maturity. It's just what I do. Uh, not very familiar with trading bonds, so if, uh, bond interest rates uh, go down. I would assume that uh, that would make uh, people more interested in buying bonds. Um, uh, considering the interest rate is down, um, 
But what would that do to the price? Bonds, it's, their pricing is a little off. So it's like the interest rate drops and I think the price rises. So I'm not sure. So it may not. I'm not sure. I got to do my research. It may not make bonds because if the interest rate goes up, then I believe the prices come down. Uh, I think that's the way bonds kind of work. Uh, in a sense, it's kind of like if I owe you $100 at you know 10% interest, then I owe you $110. But if interest rates go up you know, to 12%, now I can't, I, it's, we have a deal. I can't owe you. Now I owe you $112. No. So the price comes down to, let's just say like, I don't know, but that would be like 98. Now the price of the bond's 98. The interest rate rose up, you know, 2%. You know what I'm saying? So now the bond price comes down uh, so that I still owe you the $100. You know what I'm saying? Or the $110. So that's just kind of how it works with that. Um, as far as trading the bonds, I'm not an expert yet because there's also the yield to maturity, yield to par, I believe, and yield current yield or something like that. So you kind of just based on those yields, you kind of like de determine, you know what I'm saying? I guess where to buy and sell your bond. So, um, again, if interest rates are about to lower, the prices of bonds are probably about to go up, you know? Uh, so if you bought your bond at a higher interest rate at a lower price and the bond yields are going to come down, the price of your bond may go up. I guess that's when you would sell your bond at a higher price. Um, as far as shorting bonds, I don't know anything about that. Uh, I can, I barely know how to trade a bond. If I get a bond, I typically, uh, and you know, we've discussed this before. A bond basically is just saying, I owe you, you know, um, you know, so if I get a bond, I'm just holding till maturity, just when it expires. And what I mean by that is, so when you get your bond, you have a bond price, you know, you have your interest, your coupon, and your maturity date, along with other things like accrued interest. Um, so you have your principal, the amount you put down on the bond, uh, your interest rate, uh, and your maturity date. Um so that maturity date could be, you know, somewhere between six and six months to like 30 years, you know. Um, so if I get a bond for two or three years, I'm typically just going to hold that bond for the interest rates. Yeah, so I typically just hold to the maturity. Um, so typically with a bond, the kind of way it goes down, you know, I, uh, that's one thing I like to do at House of Barf is be sure to make sure I explain things, you know, as we go over. them. So uh, with a bond... Um, Again, it pays in six month increments. So if you get a bond now in what month are we in? November. Um, if you were to get a bond right now, uh, your six months uh, would be November. Uh, what would that be? December, January, February, March, April, May. So you would be November uh, to May. You would be uh, M and N. You know, May, November. And that's when you would get your six. Uh, your uh your um biannual uh interest payments uh your coupon is the interest rate that they're willing to give you um so you know if somebody got the bond at you know let's say five percent uh that's going to be your coupon and then your principal is how much you put down on the bond um i don't know if there's a max on a bond i have to look that up but you can buy multiple bonds if you want that's what I would actually, you know, prefer to do with my money is to have what they call a bond ladder. So essentially, I'm going to have, uh, you know, the January to June, February or January to July, February to August, March to September, uh, April to October, May to November, um, June to December. So what happens is once you have that bond ladder built. Every month, I'm going to be having an interest payment come in. That's my goal. And then, take it from there, and you can also build a dividend ladder. You know what I'm saying? Dividends, they're typically paid quarterly. You could also throw in a company like uh, O Realty, who pays monthly. Uh, so then you got that O Realty monthly one coming in. Then you got other companies that pay quarterly. Now, you build the dividend ladder based on, you know, when they 
um, have their dividend payout with dividends. Um, there's uh, there's a couple of dates there. There's the um, what's it? What's it? The ex dividend date, then the record date, um, and then there's the dividend payout date. So um, typically, dividends will come out um, um, quarterly. So if you got a company that's paying you January, like January, March, you know, you know, every quarter, whatnot, then you can get another company who pays every quarter, you know, from February, whatnot. Then you build that bond ladder of good, you know, nice, good companies you can get yourself some growth and then also just get your little dividends coming in and continue to, um, you know, if you want, buy more shares uh, so that you can get higher dividends. And you start building it up that way. And then at the end of the day, you can always throw in a nice growth company, um, you know, that may not pay any dividends, but you have that to give you some volatility. You got those dividends coming in to help, you know, do kind of a income investing essentially kind of. But those are just a couple of things I work on. Um, I do have to get ready and go real quick. I just want to touch base with everybody and just say thank you so much to anybody and everybody who decides to stop by and kick with your man Chan. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for helping me get to 500 spins. And now just as, uh, receiving the email, now let's just start working on the next 500 spins. I'm going to get better at posting daily. It is becoming a little bit uh, tough considering a couple things going on. I'm focusing on the market. I'm working on my options trading. I was doing research on a straddle, just kind of how it works with a straddle. Essentially, I was looking at it as purchasing um, a call and a put at the money basically at the price that the underlying is at the time and then i was also looking at strangles where you buy them out of the money the call and the put uh so i'm just taking a look at that kind of seeing the strategies you know with that kind of how to use them so for example i'm looking at nvidia going to have some earnings coming out and i think these nvidia earnings are either going to go one way or the other considering that we have a whole lot of geopolitical issues. NVIDIA has a, a lot of sales things going on. Then they also were to be able to sell to China. So there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, so I think it's going to go one way or the other. Either people are going to be like, oh, that's not good. And it's going to go down considering the geopolitical issues. Or, you know, or it's just going to skyrocket. And I'm not saying skyrocket like go crazy to 600. But I don't know. Maybe it'll go up to like where's that 494 right now maybe it'll go up to like 505 or something like that it'll be a brand new high for them i believe for the 52 weeks so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look into that i do gotta take a quick break i want to thank anybody and everybody who stopped by i appreciate it. i realize again we got uh germany out there australia out there india out there Canada out there. Thank you so much. And the United States. So thank y'all so much. Listening on Apple, listening on Spotify. I appreciate it. Um, I'm still just going to keep these things the way I keep them. You know, I'm long winded. I can talk a lot, ramble on. Uh, amongst all that other stuff as well is I am having a lot of mental issues as well. There's just a lot of stuff going on with my family. Uh, and it does get to me. And kind of even this morning, my brain couldn't really get in the gear of, you know, beginning to trade or looking for stocks and whatnot because like I just had all this random shit that people were just seriously just disgusting people were doing just some disgusting shit just trying to tear me down I can go over it all once everything kind of brushes over but for the time being I'm just keeping it low key but yeah you know deals with you know estranged partners uh former uh employer just bunch of dumb random shit that I gotta go through and people just keep telling me, you know, stay in there, hang in there. Trials and tribulations aren't for you. You are the one going through it. You're the one enduring all this pain and everything. But it's going to make you strong on the other side. And there's somebody there who needs you that you don't know yet. It could be your chi your children. It could be anybody who one day they're going to need you. And you're just God's going to put you in that spot. And you're going to be like, man, I've been there, son. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but here, let me go ahead. I got to get ready to go. Um, thank you so much to anybody and everybody who decided to stop by. Uh, I may stop by later. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is it or if I'll come back later. But um, I'll, I'll see. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Chan Man. This is House of Barf. Blah. 
Introducing the Listener Support Program, feeling the future and quality of House of Barf. Dear loyal listeners, at the House of Barf, we strive to bring you the most engaging, informative, and entertaining content every day into the world of business, accounting, regulation, and finance. We strive to provide you with expert knowledge, practical tips, and thought-provoking discussions to help you excel in your financial endeavors. We are dedicated to fostering meaningful conversations, sharing valuable insights, and creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about business, accounting, regulation, and finance. Producing high-quality content requires dedication, resources, and effort from a talented team of one, me, but in the future, you know, hopefully I'll have a team. That's why we are excited to introduce our listener support program. This initiative allows you, our cherished audience members, to play a pivotal role in shaping the future and the content and assuring House of Bar's sustainability. In the future, becoming a supporter, you will be able to enjoy a range of exclusive benefits. Benefits that I'm hoping to be able to bring eventually, early access to episodes, um, access to episodes that are not, you know, public, uh, you know, that are not accessible to everyone, possibly even um, create better content. And then all those mistakes I make, maybe I'll put them in a separate episode. You'll be able to get some behind the scenes stuff um, uh, and other uh, exclusive um, um, things such as merchandise. Possibly I have, uh, you know, a children's book coming out, maybe able to offer that uh, your support goes directly towards enhancing the quality of our content, expanding our reach, our research and investing in new resources and technology to bring you even better experiences. Your contribution will help us continue to deliver thought-provoking discussions, captivating stories, and insightful... Inter- oh, no, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Um, may, in the future, may possibly interview someone. Uh, that will keep you engaged and inspired. Join me, us... In shaping the future of House of Barf by becoming a supporter today. Your generosity empowers us to keep our conversations alive and ensures that we can contribute to provide valuable content to audiences around the United States and hopefully in the future of the world. To support us, simply visit podcasters.spotify.com. Then you can get to House of Barf. Um, also, it is on Spotify. And um, support this podcast and become a supporter and choose a membership tier that aligns with your preferences. Every contribution, no matter how small or how big, makes a meaningful impact and is deeply appreciated. Thank you for being an essential part of our journey. With your support, we can reach new heights and create content that truly resonates with you, our incredible listeners. God bless. Happy listening. I'm Chan Man. This is House of Barf. Again, if you would like, you can visit podcasters.spotify.com backslash pod backslash show backslash Chan hyphen man seven. And you can go to support this podcast and become a supporter today. Thank you. You can also reach me at c 287 gph at gmail.com thank you again you have a wonderful day god bless i am thrilled to introduce you to an exciting new storybook journey that i believe will capture your imagination Allow me to present Langston Mangston's Coolamate Stand Adventure, a compelling short story that promises to transport you to a world of interest, excitement, and learning. The title of the book is Langston Mangston's Coolamate Stand Adventure by Chandler Hayes. In a world of colorful imagination and captivating stories, a new children's book has emerged to empower our young minds with crucial life lessons, life skills, and financial literacy. 
Langston Mason's Cooler Maid Stand Adventure is a cheering short story written by a talented black author who understands the importance of equipping our youth in the early stages of life with the tools they need to navigate the realm of money, savings, and smart choices. Meet Langston Mason and his imaginary best friend, Zonky, a pink elephant, two curious souls who embark on an adventure around the vibrant landscape of Wichita, Kansas, where Langston Mason sets out to accomplish multiple goals and is met with obstacles that he must overcome. Langston Mason and Zonky discover valuable lessons of talking about finances in the home in order to gain knowledge. Langston Mason, with a little bit of confidence, the guidance of supportive parents, the help of community members like Mr. Tiller, and his imaginary best friend Zonky, Langston Mason learns about the value of money and how to save, the importance of making thoughtful spending decisions, the significance of thinking outside the box when met with challenges, with money, and the joys of sharing with others. Through relatable experiences and emerging and, and engaging storytelling, Young readers are introduced to the fundamental concepts of money, such as earning, saving, and spending responsibly. Langston Mason set savings goals, teaching children the importance of planning for future needs and dreams. The book celebrates diversity and the different perspectives on money, shedding light on its role in different people's lives. The characters' interactions emphasize the joys of serving others, the gift of sharing, and making a positive impact in their community. The pages of Langston Mason's Cool Amazing Stand Adventure come to life with vibrant illustrations. The colorful and imaginative visuals not only captivate young readers, but also enhance their understanding of complex financial concepts. Langston Mason's Cool Amazing Stand Adventure is coming soon to bookstairs and online realtors. It is a must-have addition to any child's library, fostering essential life skills while sparking the joy of reading. Empower the young minds in your life with the gift of financial literacy and imagination. Join Langston Mason, Zonky, family, and friends on their extraordinary journey of running a drink stand to set them on the path of a brighter future. Your opinion means a great deal to me. I would be honored if you would consider exploring Lynx and Minkson's Cool and Stand Adventure and sharing your thoughts. Your feedback could play an invaluable role in shaping the future of this project. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to discuss the book further, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Your support in spreading the word about Lynx and Minkson's Cool and Stand Adventure would mean the world to me, and I deeply appreciate your consideration. I am a passionate advocate for financial literacy me um, Chandler Hayes um, and and am excited to join the community of storytellers with a background in finances I am driven to inspire children to embark on their own adventures of learning and discovery through the power of literature Langston Mason's Cool and Maze Stand Adventure is a heartfelt endeavor to promote financial literacy in a fun and accessible way. As a black author, I'm committed to providing children of all backgrounds with the tools for success, and I am proud to contribute to a more financially informed generation. Thank you for taking the time to explore this advertisement, and I look forward to the possibility of sharing this extraordinary literature adventure with you. Please feel free to contact me uh, you can reach me at the email c287gph at gmail.com. All right. Thank you. Warmest regards. Have a great day. God bless.